Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can disable unnecessary startup programs. Now, I know when I first got my computer, it started up really, really fast. And then over time, as I've installed different apps, it feels like my computer has gotten a lot slower and then slower. Well, why is that? Well, a lot of times what happens is over time as you install apps, these apps start up when you start your computer. And the more things that you have starting up when your computer starts up, the longer it takes uh, for your computer to start up. So is there any way you could remove these startup programs? Well, there certainly is. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump on my PC. So I have my PC up and running already. It's gone through the boot up process and it's gotten past all those startup programs. Uh, now what I could do is down here in the search box, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just type in uh, startup. And what you'll see is for the best match, you have something called startup app. So let's go ahead and click on that. What'll happen then is it loads this view within settings that shows me all the different apps that start when I start my computer. And you'll see that, you know, here I installed Microsoft Teams or the Send to OneNote tool. So I have all these different things. And so here by default, a lot of these are turned on. And then you can see the impact of it. So, you know, you can see if it's a medium impact, low impact, high impact. When you, when you boot your machine, if it's a high impact, that means that it's taking quite a bit of resources and it takes a little bit longer to load them. Uh, if it's a low impact, there's probably not really that much impact on the startup process. So what you could do then is you could simply go through this list and take a look at the different names and, and see if it's something that you're aware of or something that you think you should need. Um, in some of these cases, I had Microsoft Teams start every time I started the computer, but this is my home machine, so I don't need this showing up, uh, so I turned that off. Uh, the Send to OneNote tool, I didn't really use that that often, so I turned that off, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, but just make sure that when you're going through this list that these apps are things that you don't want coming on when you start your machine. Um, many times, many of these apps will start up as you boot your machine, so when you need to use that app, it's already up and running, and so it helps tries to help you save time. Uh, but it's some, if it's something you're not really engaging with, you don't need that um, where it boots up with your machine. Um, so you go through here, turn things on and off, and once you're done making all of your selections, what you could do is you could simply click X, and then next time you boot your machine, these uh, these new settings will take effect, and hopefully you notice a, a speed improvement um, when you boot your machine next time around. And that's how simple it is to uh, enable and disable uh, startup apps when you boot your machine. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if there are any other video ideas that you have that you wanna see me uh, create in the future, uh, leave a comment down below. And hey, that's all I had for you today. Hope this helped, I'll see you next time, bye.